Hi everyone, it's your boy Howard. We're out here on US 6, 800 North in Spanish Fort to see some highly modified asphalt go down. You know, A-M-H-M-A! Close enough. Welcome back to There's a Reason for That, a series where we take you behind the barrels and explain what the heck we're up to. This is part two of Howard's journey with highly modified asphalt, or high mod as we like to call it. If you missed part one, go back and watch that one first. If you've already seen that, you know from part one, high mod asphalt mix is changing the asphalt industry and it's got potholes scared. Today we're talking about the thick lift that makes high mod so special. Traditionally, asphalt is laid in about three inch lifts at a time, aka layers. Crews have to lay a lift, compact it, then lay another lift. But our highly modified asphalt is different than what has been done in the rest of the country. In Utah, we've closed down the air voids and made the pavement much more dense. And because of that, we are able to compact a thicker lift. And if you compact a thicker lift, not only is it faster, but it's much stronger. Basically, our high mod is thick. The more glue, aka more binder there is, the denser the asphalt becomes, which in turn makes it more difficult for water to sink into the material, which is important because when water freezes, it expands with tremendous pressures and it will break the pavement apart. We save time and therefore money by using high mod. And because of its density, the air voids are reduced so water can't sneak into cracks and form those pesky potholes. High mod is becoming the standard in Utah. Here's your reminder that not all superheroes wear capes. Sometimes they suit up in PPE instead. 